I can make this like Metal Gear Solid style. I can make this like the best stealth mission in a Call of Duty game. And without telling anybody, because I knew they were going to try to stop me, and that's what I tried to do. There's pockets of radiation all over this area. If you absorb too much, you're a dead man. Developer Infinity Ward changed first-person shooters forever when it launched Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare in 2007. Set on the front lines of a politically murky war, its adrenaline fueled action set pieces redefined campaign design for an entire generation. But while levels like Crew Expendable and Charlie Don't Surf channeled the trademark intensity of Call of Duty's World War II days, one mission set the series' rulebook ablaze and threw it out the window. It was called All Gillied Up. Unfolding amongst the ghostly remains of post Chernobyl Pripyat, All Gilded Up is a sniper mission that embraces patience and precision. Its Metal Gear Solid inspired stealth sensibilities mark a significant shift in gears not just for Modern Warfare's story, but for the entire Call of Duty franchise. To find out how All Gilded Up was put together, IGN spoke to designer Mohamed Alavi, who created the mission alongside colleagues at Infinity Ward. With his insight, we examine how All Gilded Up makes use of custom artificial intelligence combat puzzles, and tense scripted sequences to create a heart-stopping mission behind enemy lines. This is Art of the Level. For the first few games in the series, Call of Duty was pretty much all action all of the time. Developer Infinity Ward built its first game in the Quake 3 Arena engine, and it's not hard to see traces of Quake bleeding through in those rapid-paced 1940s shootouts. But by Call of Duty 4, Infinity Ward was exploring new methods with which to deliver its trademark intensity. By filtering the story through a more cinematic lens, the studio was able to shift the atmosphere of the campaign from mission to mission. The first clear example of this comes with Death From Above. A a chillingly detached aerial mission witnessed entirely through the monochrome targeting display of an AC-130 gunship. But it's Modern Warfare's 13th mission that would truly change the series forever. Chernobyl. Christmas for the bad guys. Even a decade later, a lot of them still used it to get their hands on nuclear material. All Gilled Up puts players in the boots of John Price, the mustachioed SAS captain who until this moment was only ever a non-player character. Told via flashback, the mission's events see a young Price and his superior, Captain Macmillan, head to the ruins of Pripyat, the Ukrainian city devastated by the Chernobyl disaster. There they must assassinate Imran Zakhaev, a Russian arms dealer and modern warfare's shadowy antagonist. But before they can set up their sniper nest, the duo must first work their way through a number of stealth-driven gameplay sequences in order to cross the enemy-occupied town. It's a design that, back in 2007, was worlds apart from anything Call of Duty had ever done before. The idea for All Gilled Up was first imagined by Steve Fukuda, one of Modern Warfare's four lead designers. Inspired by fellow designer Mackie McCandlish's suggestion of a mission set in Pripyat, Fukuda realized that the location's abandoned buildings, rusted fairground rides, and overgrown fields provided the perfect setting for snipers draped in ghillie suits. However, not everyone at the studio was as enthusiastic about the idea as Fukuda was. Nobody thought it was cool, including myself. I always liked the more like bombastic missions, and this was like the opposite of that. I was finishing up cargo ship, and he couldn't find anybody who wanted to make this level. Thankfully, Fukuda had a killer pitch that would convince Alavi to take on the project. He's like, you're walking in a field, you come up to a bush, and you like see two guys pass the bush. And you like raise your gun, you're about to take a shot, and the bush turns to you and goes, hold up. Follow me and keep low. And that's all he said, and I was like, I'm in. <laughs> Weapon three. Bridge secure. Hold your fire. In direct contrast to Alavi's previous work, the explosive Crew Expendable, this was going to be the series' first genuine stealth level. And to achieve that, Alavi would have to pick apart the very fundamentals of Call of Duty. For a series that had trained players to shoot at targets with impunity, or Gilded Up would demand that players move their finger off the trigger. Four tangos inside, don't even think about it. The key was, in the very, very, very beginning, I had to set a tone. So that very beginning part was like very intentionally slow, very intentionally like somber, the music was somber. And he very like calmly gets up to kind of show you like, that's what you look like. So like you're completely invisible if you're not moving. We went through a lot of very custom animations for McMillan at the very beginning, right? He slowly blocks up there, he's like hold up, a lot more than any other Call of Duty mission normally. But it was all to just set the mood, set the tone, to like basically tell the player like, 
Hey, slow down. Hey, slow down. Hey, watch me. Hey, watch me. Hey, watch me. Call of Duty has always used a friendly character to coax players from objective to objective. But All Gilled Up casts Captain McMillan as your indisputable senior. His tone of voice and custom animations make it clear he's not to be trifled with. He'll tell you when to shoot, when to crouch, when to run, and you'll follow along willingly. This helps disguise the tightly scripted nature of the level, and guide you through its consecutive sequences at an exact pace. That's a bloody convention out there. So All Gilled Up was going to be a sneaking mission. Quiet. Restrained. Just that fact alone introduced a huge amount of complexity into the project. Alavi was faced with a simple truth. Call of Duty was an intense shooter. Its very DNA, the code underpinning the whole experience, didn't understand the concept of stealth. It was war all the time. The AI was never designed to not see you. So I was like, we can fake this, but I don't like doing that because as soon as like you, you know, you can see through it instantly, right? Or I can make this like Metal Gear Solid style. I can make this like the best stealth mission in a Call of Duty game. And without telling anybody, because I knew they were going to try to stop me, and that's what I tried to do. I, I, like, I'm not an AI programmer. I'm not a programmer. <laughs> you know what I mean? But like, I went to our AI programmer and I basically sat down and was like, all right, how can I make the AI not see me? And he was like, you can't. And I was like, there's gotta be something. So basically like, he gave me the ability to shorten the view cone. So I hard coded it where like, if you're standing up, the enemy's view cones are standard right? But if you're crouching, it's less. And if you're prone, then it's way less. And then on top of that, again, we, we didn't have any tech for any of this. So I just had to hard place everything. I started placing triggers for like grassy areas versus non grass areas, which, you know, change the that view cone. And then I started placing triggers for shadows, right? So like, you know, bake the shadows into the level, figure out where they were, and then go place triggers where the shadows are, so like it would bring in the view cone even more. What started out as like just a couple simple things ballooned into like almost twenty thousand lines of poorly written script. <laughs> <laughs> that like literally took me, I want to say, two months. The script may have been poor, but only one thing mattered: it worked. The enemy Russian troops were quite literally blind to the player crawling just inches away from their ankles. And that was the first step in creating a heart-pounding stealth experience. The next was to craft a sequence that would have players holding their breath along with their character. Get down now. Okay, well what if like you're in this situation that like in any other terms, you'd just be dead, like 100% dead. There's no way you and this other guy with two sniper rifles can take on an entire army, right? That's like coming straight for you. Well, what if you can just lay in the grass and like, you know, they just don't see you, which is the cool idea. But then the hard part was making that actually fun, right? So originally I had all these like dynamic paths they could take that like, would adjust to your position. And like, they thought they saw something, then they would like shift the whole convoy. And that was, it was just too much. It was too hard. It was too complicated. It was unreadable. And I stripped it back a lot. And I basically just made it like, okay, they all have set paths. They're just not going in a straight line. They're doing this slight curve, right? So that like, it constantly feels like, oh shit. It, oh no, and I kind of need to, it's like to give you a little bit of attention. So it's not just a straight line, but something that's like learnable and easier. Try to anticipate their path. I'm obviously faking a bunch of stuff there, right? Like I bring in their view cone to zero basically. So they can walk right on top of you. The only difference is I added there that like, if you turn, then their view cone opens up mm. to give you that feeling of like, okay, I've got to move slowly. I've got to turn slowly. You know what I mean? And it's literally only for that section, but it feels innate. It feels like it makes sense. So it doesn't really need to be like taught. Hiding in the grass and not moving a muscle while enemies walk by is one of All Gilded Up's most recognizable images. But this is also a mission that hands you a silenced rifle and challenges you to become an elite sniper. It's when the safety catch is flicked off that the level unlocks what has become a Call of Duty hallmark, synchronized sniping. So what happened was actually in that very first encounter, I had Mc, uh, McMillan not shoot the second guy, but it felt terrible because like if you're like beelined on this one dude, 
you're putting all your focus in on him, and you're trying to get to the other guy, and if he just starts firing his loud AK, then you feel cheated, right? The answer was to have Macmillan observe your every shot and clean up if things went wrong. Players who instantly grasp the stealth sensibilities of the mission will wait for the soldiers to separate and look away from each other before taking them out one at a time. But Macmillan works as a safety net. If the second guy sees your shot, he's dead before he can even raise his gun. This keeps the mission flowing, and creates an authentic sense of teamwork between you and your partner. Considering how synchronized sniping has become the iconic image of all gillied up, it's actually used pretty infrequently. The best example of it comes at the mission's midway point, in a sequence in which you must cleanly dispatch four enemies. As with all the best stealth encounters, this is a lethal puzzle to be solved. It was like two guys right next to each other, and like they're kind of walking and like, and then they face away, and you know, like that's your opening. And then the second one, by the pond where they're throwing the bodies away. Now you got four guys, right? And there's two throwing the bodies away and there's two walking. There's a puzzle. It's like, do I shoot immediately? Cause I'm probably gonna alert all four of them or do I like wait for them to come by? And obviously like McMillan's like giving you some advice, but he leaves it up to you. Taking them out without alerting the rest isn't going to be easy. But then again, neither is sneaking past them. Your goal. Player choice is not something typically associated with Call of Duty campaigns. But All Gillied Up, a mission that seems practically on rails from a distance, is actually surprisingly malleable. Many scenarios across the level can be solved in multiple ways, and the script will even acknowledge and respond to your actions. What the hell the lookout's gonna see the body? So basically, I will say this, I will never make a stealth mission again. <laughs> because what started off as like, uh, I want this to feel right, turned into, I need to account for every goddamn situation. <laughs> so yeah, like, what if you shoot the helicopter? Well, it's gonna look dumb if it just goes by. Well, it's also gonna feel bad if it's an insta-kill, so I'll just throw some rockets in here. And Well, now I gotta make the roof explodable. <laughs> so I have to spend a week making the roof explodable. <laughs> I just brute forced everything, to be honest, you know what I mean? But like, it, I, I did it because like, I wanted you to be able to be like, can I do this? And the answer is like, yes, yes you can. In most cases, all gilded up rewards your curiosity. You can destroy the helicopter, you can sneak by without shooting, you can go all guns blazing, and you can disobey orders. But there is one moment in which, should you defy Macmillan, your choice comes back to bite you. Stop. Wave it alone, it's a wild dog. Yeah, I mean, that was super gamey, but like, I didn't care. I just thought it was funny. <laughs> I was like, you deserve to, yeah, you, you deserve to, get to like have the hounds of hell attack you and you shoot this dog. <laughs> but there was a bit of research that went into that, you know what I mean? Like, we'd learned that like, there were like a bunch of feral dogs that like had somehow survived the radiation and kind of like started hunting in packs. <laughs> All Gillied Up is followed by One Shot, One Kill, the explosive second half of the assassination mission in which you must hold out against wave upon wave of relentless enemies as you wait to be extracted from Pripyat. The pacing of these two missions almost mimics the act of a calculated shot, the slow intake of breath that's held just long enough to steady the crosshair, followed by the explosion in the chamber. This careful attention to pacing can also be seen within All Gillied Up itself, which weaves between slower moments of predator-like confidence and hurried dashes to new hiding spots. But as with almost everything in game design, this masterful pacing didn't come out of a larvae's head fully formed. Working on that level actually taught me a lot about like how important pacing is, right? Not just in, inside of a level, but like across the game as a whole. The first mistake I made was putting way too many enemies in the level and you had no breathers in between, right? But I realized that like, it didn't feel good and like I needed these like moments to like kind of just like both rejoice in doing so well or getting out of a hairy situation, but also just like kind of reset so I could reset the tension again. And I was like, okay, well, you've gone through this whole mission like with your ghillie suit, right? Well, what if I take that away from you? Mm -hmm. What if you can't hide in the grass anymore, right? Like, can we still do something fun there? Can we still do something with like high tension? With no way around and no grass to hide in, you must use your enemy's own trucks as cover and cross to the other side unseen. It's a moment that forces you to break every rule you've learned so far. And I'm like, well, this is a big convoy. And I'm like, and there's no grass. I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time, but I wanna make it like amped up and more exciting and like basically that it's it's the opposite it's like not you moving slowly it's you hauling ass and praying for god <laughs> it's just like it's just that it's just like how could i make this section different and interesting from the last but still stick to the theme just wait here a moment when they leave 
This almost suicidal Hail Mary is the heart-stopping final hurdle. After such a tense and focused journey through enemy-occupied territory, the closing moments of All Gillied Up give you time to regain your composure as you make your way through a maze of abandoned buildings completely devoid of enemies. What happened was I had originally put enemies in there, but quite frankly, I couldn't get it to work because the beginning of the level is all outdoors and I had like scripted all the AI to work with that super well. So by the time I got inside, like it wasn't really great. And also you're, you're in a ghillie suit. It doesn't really make sense to like be able to like be in cover. And I didn't want to, I didn't want to change the feeling of the level yet because I knew the next one, the one that Mackie made, which was one shot, one mm -hmm. kill was basically turned on a 10. It's a like full on action level, right? I was like, that's doing its own thing. So I was like, you know what? Everybody's expecting something to happen. I bet I can just pull tension with music and dialogue and it, I feel like it worked out. The execution of pacing and tension across the duration of All Gillied Up is the secret to its success. While the custom artificial intelligence is the vital technology that makes the entire mission possible, it's the careful and deliberate positioning of enemies, cover and scripted scenarios that make it an all-time classic. By forcing players to slow down, take precautions and consider each and every shot, it succeeds in being a memorable high point of not just modern warfare, but the entire Call of Duty series. As a result of All Gillied Up's success, most subsequent games in the franchise feature a stealth-focused mission. Synchronized sniper shots have become as much a part of the Modern Warfare series DNA as Captain Price's bushy mustache. But the mission's legacy is more than just stealth. Along with Call of Duty 4's other experimental approaches, it helps steer the future of the series to what it's been for a decade now. A globe-hopping collection of concept missions built around an ever-changing array of novelties. All things considered, it's not hyperbole to say that All Gillied Up changed Call of Duty forever. Beautiful. Move out. Thank you for watching this episode of Art of the Level. For more insights on your favourite levels from the people who made them, take a look at our breakdowns of Titanfall 2's Into the Abyss and Alien Isolation's The Quarantine.